This is lesson 7-1 about exponential models. In this lesson, we will learn how to graph an exponential function, and we'll learn the difference between a growth and decay function. So here we have an example of an exponential function. What makes it exponential is that the x variable is an exponent rather than um, being just multiplied by the coefficient. So what we'll do is substitute all of these x values into our equation and calculate. So as you can see, I've done the first three. So if you plug a 0 in for x, we have 2 to the 0 power, and we know anything to the 0 power is 1. And then we have 2 to the negative first, and we know from the last chapter, if you have a negative exponent, that means make a reciprocal. And so we can calculate the rest of these values. Once you have your xy table made, then you can take those points and plot them on the graph. Once the points are plotted, then you can draw a line through the points. And we get a curve that looks something like this. This is uh, the graph of an exponential function. This turns out to be an exponential growth function. Um, and one thing that you should be made aware of is that this function, no matter what x values you choose, um, as we get more and more negative x values here, this graph will never cross the x-axis. So this line here, the x-axis, is called an asymptote because the graph will not cross that line. Here's another example of an exponential function because our variable x is in the exponent position. So we're going to substitute these x values into the equation and calculate again. So as we calculate these, um, cubing a fraction means you cube the numerator and you cube the denominator. Um, when our exponent is 0, we get 1. And remember, a negative exponent means make a reciprocal. So 1 third made a reciprocal is 3. And 1 third to the negative 2 is going to be 9, 3 squared. And finally, we get 27. And then we can plot these points. Once the points are plotted, we can draw the curve that goes through the points. And again, we have an asymptote on the x-axis, which we can draw in with a dashed line. This function we would call an exponential decay function. So we have two basic types of exponential functions. The exponential growth function, it is a growth when it goes upward and to the right. As the x values increase, the y values increase. The decay function occurs when it's coming downward as you go to the right. So as your x values increase, the y values decrease.